722, Frank Napolitano is here. How are you? A little tired. You were at the Madonna thing last I night. I was at the Madonna. This is your third Madonna concert you attended. Yep. What did you think of the show? Not as good as the last two, that's for sure. And the fact that she kept everybody, I, I don't know, the working You person. knew this ahead of time. Uh, well, I, I'd heard grumblings that in Montreal she didn't go on until 10.15, so to expect uh, her to go on a little late. But uh, 10.30, I think she started 10.30, 10.35. 10.20 or something, yeah. Uh, a little late. That's too late, man. A little late for, for the working hmm. person that, you know, had to get up this morning. True enough, eh? Mm -hmm. A lot of people probably dragging it. Yep, I would think so. We're going to talk about a new program uh, for, um, well, it's a pretty specific program. Mm -hmm. It's for people who are legally separating. It really is a, a good program and, and, and nice of them to come out with it because, uh, and as you know, uh, recall, in July the rules change where if, where if you have to refinance your house, the maximum you can refinance your house to is 80% of the value. But they've come out with a little bit of a side, uh, a little side agreement where, where if a couple is going through a separation, they will allow uh, for, for a refinance as much as 95% loan to value. So it, again, I mean, it, you know, it allows the couple then to maintain that home. And, uh, and at least if, if one of the parties wants to keep it and give the proceeds to uh, the other party is part of the separation, some of the proceeds, the equity, mm -hmm. then they're in a position to do that. Because the way it was right, before, it's, yeah. you pretty well have to sell it. Or both names, or, or in some cases what's happening is couples are keeping the home together because they can't do anything about the refinance, but really one party is moving out and it's, and it's hindering that one party from going out and buying another home because they're still responsible right. for the home they're not living in. Right. So this allows uh, everybody to come out uh, as even as possible and maybe, like you say, one person can keep the home if they want. Right. Assuming, again, got to keep in mind that the rules are pretty strict on this, too, because yeah. a legal separation is a must, and that individual that's now hanging on to the property and refinancing it must qualify under CMHC rules as well. Right. So. You have to have the proper documentation. You have Absolutely. to have all that sort of thing, right? Absolutely. You're just, you, you just can't come in and say... We're thinking about separating. I want to refinance it to 95%. That's not going to work. That's is not going to fly. Is it CMHC who makes these rules? Well, I, I think that there's, there's uh, multiple. I, I mean, I, I would think that the Bank of Canada had something to do with, with that rule being passed. And CMHC, Genworth, and Canada Guarantee have implemented it. So Right, right. Which are the three default insurers in, the, in our country. What else is happening in the market right now? Uh, a lot of people talking about uh, lack of inventory. Is that mm -hmm. true? Mm -hmm. Well, no, I don't think there's a lack of inventory. I think there's a lot of inventory out there. Just the sales are not as strong as they have been over the last couple of years. So, uh, so there's a lot of homes for, for people to look at. Therefore, they've got choice, and it's become, uh, you know, in some neighborhoods, it's a balanced market. In some neighborhoods, it's actually a buyer's market right now because there's so many homes on the market that, uh, you've, uh, you know, from a buying standpoint, you can look at many homes and, and uh, sometimes make, a, you know, make an offer that's uh, less than what the asking price is, which we haven't seen too much of Have you noticed two or three years. any change uh, with the recent changes to rules? Have you noticed uh, a lot less slowed people uh, ringing you up? Yeah, it slowed down a little bit, speci specifically first-time home buyers, because yeah. it's a little tougher to qualify for that first-time home buyer. Going from a 30-year to a 25-year amortization, uh, you know, uh, limits some people. That being said, uh, it's still a great time to buy if you can somehow get into the market because your mortgage payment with interest rates as low as they are, I mean, we still have a five-year at 3.09, the 10-year is still at 3.89%. So uh, fantastic rates and, and you know, if, if you offset it versus the rent and if you're getting a good deal on some of the properties right now because there's that much more inventory out there, then it's probably a worthwhile investment to be able to buy instead of renting. Yeah, still one of the better markets here in Ottawa. It too, really by is. The way, uh, solid in market. terms of uh, what's available and the price. Because mm -hmm. other uh, other major cities in the country, it's not so cheap. Nope. nope. Toronto, Vancouver, not so cheap. Yeah, listen, if you have any questions about mortgages, how they work, and first time home buyers especially, uh, call Frank and his team at Mortgage Brokers Ottawa. Uh, go on the website, mortgagebrokersottawa.com. You'll get the answers to the questions you have. And that's uh, reassuring in itself, no question. You're off to some breakfast now. I'm off to. Ottawa Hospital's got a big breakfast here oh, at the convention they? center, so looking forward to. Nice. Yeah. Well, enjoy that, my friend. Thank you. Good